what is up and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to my channel do me a favor hit the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys i'm on my uh regular commute back home it's just uh past 6 p.m it's 605 and as we're approaching winter it's getting darker uh, much earlier in the uh, in the evening as expected but yeah on this commute home i just want to show you a little bit of um, the commute back home and how the traffic situation is like even in the outskirts of shanghai just like any big city anywhere shanghai has its own even in traffic situations as well um, 6 p.m. seems like the best time to show you what a traffic situation is like even in the outskirts of, of Shanghai I hope the camera is picking up the footage well well at this stage I don't see much traffic but yeah I'm sure it's gonna build up as I move closer to the really tight areas where traffic is usually bumper to bumper but as a motorcycle rider you don't care too much about that because you can always weave through the traffic and that's another plus for those of us who commute on, on motorcycles and while doing that it's an opportunity for me to show you how the lighting on this uh, the aux lights that I installed on this bike how much it powers or it lightens up the road at night so like I said in one of my videos the original headlamps that come on their or with the CB500X even though they are stock LEDs from factory they do not do a good job in lighting up the road properly so I installed an aftermarket well it was a brandless auxiliary lights on my CB500X and a lot of people kind of liked it uh, because of the small form factor I'll link the video up there so you can take a look at the the one that I got but the installation was pretty straightforward and I haven't had any problems ever since even though it's brandless it has a really s small form factor and it illuminates the road really well I hope the camera is capturing it but I'll try to find a place that is dark without light so I can show you the difference it makes between the original headlights and the aux lights installed so yeah. alright guys so I'm just gonna do a demo I found this dark place that will really show the strength of the auxiliary lights that I installed. Now I'm going to turn on just the aux lights, the low beam for the aux lights. Wow, so you can already see a difference. This is just the aux lights and that's the low beam for aux lights. And this is the high beam for the aux lights. See, you can see all the signs in front are clearly illuminated. So again, just aux lights low beam high beam that is insane look at it and it it aligns really really well so as you can see it doesn't throw too far and it illuminates um the vision area of your eye and that makes it really really comfortable to ride with see how bright it is guys so this is the reason why you need aux lights it's got this mode as well for both low and high beam where it flashes intermittently and put a bike on the center stand so I can show you so this is low beam aux lights and this is a flashing function so you can have both of the lights flashing at the same time and you can also have them flashing You can also have them flashing left, right, left, right in emergency situations. So yeah, I don't have problem with lighting. You are probably seeing it in this video as well. It's at night, so I don't know how well the camera is capturing it. So another traffic right at this traffic light. 
and good thing about riding a motorcycle is you can always weave through safely people who are driving must be pissed in this kind of situation that you can just go and they have to wait but yeah that's what you get for riding a motorcycle some you win some you lose I usually refill my tank when I have two bars out of the six bars left uh, the worst is when it's just dropped from the two to one I do this so that I can be safe on safe on fuel all the time and it's a good habit to refill when it's not totally low just to keep your fuel injection system safe because you never know there might be debris in their uh, lower part of the tank so I tried as much as possible to refill when I get too bad so just gonna u-turn here and pull into this gas station see a gas station right here and uh, get some fuel Alright, let's see what the prices are. It's been really crazy. I don't know how fuel is where wherever you are, but jar. Huh. Yeah, so it's 92. So in China you got 92, 95, and 98. So the CB 500 x runs on the lowest, 92. Yeah. Jar German. Uh, Eight thirty two yuan per liter. Oh. Nimentalisa Uh, paying online uh, oh she's yeah so it cost me a total of 91.3.93 you and us 11.05 liters and it a liter is 8.32 <laughs> so like I said in China mostly you're not allowed to refill yourself there are attendants everywhere but yeah so um gas prices are really crazy what well, what is it what is the situation like wherever you are because uh, just before the covid we would buy a liter of gas in china for like six maximum 6.5 yen and ever since covid Ever since the end of COVID, it's been around 8 to 8.5. Today is 8.35, something like that, or 8.32. That's so. What is the gas situation wherever you are? Uh, leave it in the comment section. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Shimane, you're tired from work or you just had a bad day? And on your way home, you made traffic like this. What do you do? Do you keep your cool? Waving through. Uh oh, I don't want this flashing light. I think I mistakenly hit it. Need to turn it back on. Why is no one using this lane, although it goes straight as well?
Uh oh, it looks like it's drizzling now. It was so sunny and warm today, about 25 degrees. But the, the um, weather report said it was rain was expected today. But because of how warm it was and how sunny it was, I didn't expect that it will actually happen because it wasn't really showing. And when I was leaving, it showed a little bit. But it looks like it's starting to drizzle now. So my guess is the rain is going to come down at some point. I hope it doesn't catch me while I'm out here. So maybe I got to speed up. So this is how traffic looks like at 6.32 in the outskirts of Shanghai talking about over a billion people here Shanghai alone has a population of about 25, 26, some say 29 million but either way it's just around 30 million, 25 to 30 million so it doesn't matter which part of the city you are downtown, outskirts the traffic situation is very very similar although in the downtown area it will be much much thicker uh oh so the rain is coming down guys but I'm almost I'm almost home now so if you look on the back of the car you can see that my auxiliary lights have a very nice cutoff line I don't know if it shows nicely on the camera so that's the low beam and this is the high beam um, it's very very bright lights up the road really well but it doesn't blind oncoming drivers that's what I really like about this uh, these auxiliary lights and I've been enjoying them since I installed them rain is coming down I got my camera my GoPro in the media mode and the media mode is not it's not waterproof so I have to end this video now so I can dis dismount it and put it in my bag for, for safety but I'm almost home now thank you so much for coming along on my commute, commute back home I just wanted to show you how um, traffic looks like on my commute back home at, after 6 p.m. in Shanghai in autumn today is the I believe it's the 19th of of October and uh, as the rain comes down like I said I'm just gonna end this video now thank you so much for coming along if you're new to my channel do me a favor hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and don't hesitate to go through my channel and I got tons of videos there on my Honda CV 500X and general stuff around riding around Shanghai so Thank you again for watching. Until I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace, and I'm out.